Jared Poland Fronos Photo dot com. And yes, my voice is slightly a little raspy after three days of shooting the Fronos Photo video guide, the next guide that's coming out. And today's a snow day, so I would figured I'd catch up on making a Squarespace rapid fire critique. And this time we've got Jonathan Tate Photography, and this is what his website says. It says, the world is is black and white through my eyes, dot, dot, dot. So we will see if that is the case. So first things first, his Squarespace page, I believe the template that he's using is called Wells. That is similar to the one that I use on mine. So that's something that I definitely, definitely like. So one thing I first noticed up here, oh, I want to turn off desktop icons for the time being. One thing that I saw up here is it's Jonathan Tate Photography Squarespace .com. Now that's very difficult to uh, send somebody to Squarespace. I believe when you sign up for a year, gives you a free domain name. Now you don't have to use them for the domain name. I use a company called A Plus .net. I believe it's twelve ninety nine a year or ten ninety nine. I think it went up to twelve ninety nine a year for a domain. I would purchase my own domain name separately so that. You know, in case you leave Squarespace one day, you still have your domain. I don't know how they do it, whether you get to keep it or can transfer it. Maybe they do. I'm sure they make it easy. But in this case, I like to purchase it on my own so I control it. So I would like to see that you do that. Get Jonathan Tate photo, probably uh, opposed to photography. That way... Uh, it's not so long. You got to look at how long domain names are. You got to try to make it easy for people to, to, uh, to find your site and, and to spell it out, especially on mobile devices. You would end up losing the Squarespace. Squarespace makes it really easy for you to map your domain name to wherever you have it. Uh, it's just really simple. That's what I did so that you can go to jonathantatephotography.com if you own that and get right to your website, even if it's stored on Squarespace's servers. So first things first, we've got, or maybe seconds things second, I don't know. We've got Sacramento Streets. We can pump through here, boom. I like how we rotate. I like how the images are huge. Remember that you can always drag. Look, you see how it drags in the screen resizes? That is one of the major things I love about Squarespace that it does because no matter what size screen you have, you have a captive design here. It's always going to change, and it makes it work. You may not do it small like this, but hey, we've got it like this. One thing that I didn't like about this, you can arrow left, you can arrow right, and I just did it backwards, but... You can't arrow up. And on my site, let me show you what I like about arrowing up. You see how you have left, you have right, but you also have up. That shows all the thumbnails. I love being able to see all of the images on the screen because that way I can be like, oh, I want to see this picture, and boom. Now, again, my website isn't perfect. It's not the best. It's just an idea that I love having the ability to see the thumbnails, and I think a lot of people do as well. So as we go down here, we've got... What's this one say? It says, Sean, uh, this guy, Sean. You go through, you got two, three pictures. Couple, actually not bad. So not a bad set. Up, up. What is this? Why is there a color picture on your site? See, this is one thing you're either going to have to do or not do. If you say that... Uh, the world is black and white through your eyes, then every single image on your page, you got to live by that. That needs to be your thing. If that's your style and what you're going for, then everything on your website, Jonathan, should be black and white, especially with a tagline like that. Uh, I don't think that's too much to say, especially if you're going to say it, then, then own it. Then be that guy that sees the world through black and white. So I like this scene. I like what's going on here. What I would consider doing on the side here is maybe making these more bold so that you can see them and not just when you highlight them. I like it bold so it stands out and I can see it from a distance. Um, also, maybe have a section called photo stories or portrait stories where you put this guy and then this Relic 45, which is a band, I believe. Uh, same thing. Have that under photo stories or portrait stories or, or, or something along those lines. But I know that I went through here as well and started to see color pictures, and that throws me off, especially with the tagline. So that's something that I would consider doing. Automotive. Let's click on automotive and see what we have. We've got one picture. All right, so it's not a portfolio with one picture. It's just a 
picture. Maybe you should have a miscellaneous section for certain images if you're not ready to put up more about automotive because it kind of is like if somebody's coming to your site to hire you and they're looking at everything else and they want your portraits, but they come up to automotive and they see one shot, it's like, why? Why do I only have one shot here? So either hold off on putting this up. Yeah, I wouldn't even put it up at all until you have more automotive shots or have a miscellaneous section of my personal choices, my fun shots, where you just have a miscellaneous area where the images go. So we've got the homeless project, which I went through earlier, I think is a, some very nice images on here. Uh, Again, I would like to see the thumbnails. This is great. Very nice and black and white. I'd move this up higher, maybe under Sacramento stories. This is or personal stories or personal projects. This is really it's it's very powerful. And there's not that many images here. I'd like to see at least 15 to 20 pictures in a portfolio that you put up here. I rather see less sections but more solid images. These are solid images, but I want to see just a little bit more of them before you uh, put other things up. So we click on animals, and again, we just have one picture. It's, it, it shouldn't be here like this. You need to get that into the miscellaneous or have a set of animals. I could say 10 pictures, all right? I wouldn't say go less than 10 pictures when you're putting up a section. Through the Looking Glass blog, I like that you have a blog on here as long as you update it more often and, and you just keep people coming back for more blog posts are very important on a photo website people come back what do you think i started when i started jaredpoland.com it was with a squarespace at the time and i had it in a blog style and i put up my portfolio and i put up my images but i also had a blog and people started to follow it for whatever reason i don't know why i wasn't very good back then with uh, my making videos but people just they came back because it was a place to see content. And so updating stuff like this about your personal stories or, hey, look, I went and photographed the homeless guys and I did an interview or here's my story and here's what I feel. People start to get a personal appreciation for that and they feel attached to what you're doing and then they're going to come back for more. So then we've got shop and shop when we click on it is empty. There's nothing here. So because there's nothing here, you got to turn it off on your end. You don't want the public facing side to show a blank page, especially like this where it says shop. Are you if you're going to sell something, put it in there. If not, nix it. Get rid of it. Then we click on contact and you have your contact form. I like contact forms like this. I also don't mind sometimes leaving an email address in there. Maybe it's not linkable or clickable, but it gives people the ability to see it and send an email if they would like. But this is very simple to use, very easy to put together. Maybe have more of a bio. I don't see an about me page. It's always nice to know more about you. Instead of my name is Jonathan Tate, a local photographer from Sacramento. Well, let me ask you something. What makes you a... a Yes, you're local there, but you're not local to me because I'm in Philadelphia. Own it. Drop the local. You're a photographer from Sacramento, California, willing to travel the world to go take the photos that you want to see in black and white. I don't know. I just came up with that off the top of my head. But if you see the world through black and white, you know, my name's Jonathan Tate, a photographer from Sacramento, California, capturing images of the world in black and white. If you need me to travel around, if you need me to travel anywhere, I am fully capable and ready to go. So contact me here or leave your email address and things like that. So those that's marketing. That's, that's a little bit of salesmanship right there. You're selling yourself. Don't sell yourself short as just a local photographer. That comes across as saying, well, I guess you're not global. You're not able to go anywhere else. And I'm not saying you're not. I'm just pointing that out as something that I would work on. I would come up with a saying, you know, you have your slogan about the black and white, but be you know, be more open to every, you're a photographer and capitalize photographer, by the way, capitalize the P in photographer. You are a photographer. You are from Sacramento, California, but I am traveling. I will try. I do travel the world and I'm ready to go when you want me to capture your black and white images. So I think I spent enough time on that, but I hope that helps you guys out there. You've got your link to your Facebook and Twitter. I love seeing that. You probably should have an Instagram as a photographer these days so that people can follow you there. The more places people can follow and engage in what you're doing, the more they're going to want to come back for more. That's how you start building the brand and the, uh, the brand awareness, and people are going to start seeing your work and talk about it and share it out there. So the photos are very nice and black and white. I like what's going on. This is a very clean theme. There's not much that I would change as of right now. I like to see 
drop-down menus of sorts if you have got multiple photo stories. I would see a little bit less here because once you get rid of automotive, once you get rid of animal, and once you get rid of shop, it kind of condenses down and is much better uh, than where it's at now because those just clog it up and they don't really show you anything. Your photo stories are pretty cool. I like them, but let's work on this left-hand side and maybe have some drop-down menus where you put miscellaneous projects, animals, and, and just put the photos in there. So not bad at all, guys. This is a Squarespace rapid-fire critique. If you haven't checked out squarespace.com yet, go to squarespace.com slash fro, and if you, well, you can sign up for a 14-day free trial, and after that, if you decide that you want to sign up for a subscription, use the code FROTUBE at checkout, and that's going to give you 10% off your first order. So that means if you sign up for one month, you're going to get 10% off for that one month, or if you sign up for a year, you're going to get 10% off that entire year, which is... I think something like $84 for the year. That is not bad. And that includes the hosting and all of the customer support 24 hours a day. I like it. Check it out for yourself for those 14 days free trials. If you want to submit your rapid fire critiques, you can do so leaving them here underneath this YouTube video as a comment. I will see those links. And I, there's only so many of these I can make, but I will keep trying to make them uh, and leave some comments with what you want to see me do with some of these critiques. So there you guys have it. Go to squarespace.com slash fro use code frotube to save 10 percent off and that is about it jared poland fro knows photo.com see ya